Just 26 people now control as much wealth as half of the Earth's population. The rich are literally getting richer and the poor are literally getting poorer in real time. Numbers. We know the number of people living in extreme poverty has been falling steadily for decades. Many people dream of wealth, the clothes, the cars, but only a few get to become rich. Becoming rich requires a combination of the right mindset, habits, and strategies. In this video, I'll be sharing three reasons why you'll never become rich, and also provide the solutions and useful resources to overcome these problems and become wealthy far more you can think of. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications to get updated when I post, so you never miss out on my videos. And let's jump right into today's video. 1. Spending to impress. Spending money to show people how much money you have is the fastest way to never become rich. Stay broke. If you do not want to have financial security, if you want to go from having financial security to becoming broke, then try to impress other people. A study from TD Ameritrade found out that one quarter of adults 18 to 35 say they feel pressured to keep up with their friends' spending, especially when they see those friends posting about their vacations and purchases on social media, so they try to keep up with that lifestyle and end up spending more than they can afford, just to impress. Have you ever been in a restaurant and looked around, only to see people who aren't eating but are just taking photos of their food instead? How many of these people would actually be there if social media never existed? We can all relate in some way to social media-induced FOMO, the fear of missing out. When you constantly want to see where your friends are traveling to, what they're driving and how they're living, it's no wonder you feel inadequate if your lifestyle is not measuring up. There's certainly nothing wrong with buying something you enjoy, taking a picture of it and sharing it on your socials. But maybe social media is driving you to go out and spend a lot more money than you can afford. If you're spending money on things you don't really need, just for the gratification of getting likes on your photos, or to impress your friends, you will never become rich. Again, there is nothing wrong with treating yourself to a fancy restaurant or buying a luxury car. But remember, buy it because you like it, not because you think hundreds of others will. So here is where you need discipline. Control your impulses. Before buying anything expensive, ask yourself if you really need it. How badly? How will this thing impact me? If you don't really need that item, then don't get it and remember what it took you to earn that money in the first place. Buy the things you enjoy, and don't fall prey to the feeling that you must spend money to impress other people. Believe me, no one cares. All those people you're worried about are only thinking of themselves. They're not there to help you make the money, so why do you feel the need to impress them that you are rich? Mute the accounts that are leaving you feeling less than and ungrateful. Follow accounts of inspiring people that gives you positive feelings. Watch this, this, and this video if you struggle with impressing people, linked in my description box. 2. Lack of financial knowledge. Whether someone is rich or poor is not determined by the amount of money they make or have. It is determined by what they think the purpose of that money is. Poor people think the primary purpose of money is to pay bills. Rich people believe the purpose of money is to turn it into more money. Roy T. Bennett said, There is no more profitable investment than investing in yourself. It is the best investment you can make. You can never go wrong with it. People don't talk about this as much as they talk about making money. Ironically, investing in yourself is one is one of the easiest and most effective paths to becoming rich. Being financially literate means having the knowledge and confidence to effectively manage, save, and invest your money. Unfortunately, you lack the knowledge of financial education which prevents you from becoming rich. You can't underplay the value of learning. Financial education can easily differentiate a rich person from a poor person. It is one of the bridges you cross to becoming rich. Anything you learn has a potential to change your life. Just start investing in yourself today to improve your financial knowledge. Every step you take toward getting a better handle on your financial situation is a step in the right direction to becoming rich. Knowledge is power and can help you make more wise and confident financial decisions to becoming rich. I will always say this, internet is free, YouTube is free. Watch videos of great finance YouTubers like Joshua Mayo and lots more. 
check out this YouTubers in my description box and watch their videos where they discuss the basics of tracking your expenses, knowing when and where to invest your money, and how to efficiently budget your income. Don't forget to also subscribe to this channel for more videos on improving your financial well-being and building a more secure future. If you prefer books, fill your mind with the books of great financial authors like I Will Teach You To Be Rich, Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The Psychology of Money, Get Good With Money, You Are A Badass At Making Money, The Millionaire Next Door, There's No Shortage When It Comes To Learning About Money, Explore these resources for advice and strategies for building wealth. There's so much knowledge all around the world now, you can't afford not to be financially educated in this 21st century. 3. You're scared of failure. If you cannot face up to your fear of failure, you will never become rich. No one likes to fail, but the moment you stop failing is when you stop growing in your life and career. Fear of failure is why you will never become rich. The fear of starting that business, the fear of investing the money, the fear of buying that course. The reason why you are scared to show your ideas to the world is because you don't trust you're good enough to create something valuable that can help people, imposter syndrome. So what do you do? You doubt yourself at the slightest birth of an idea. In fact, you discredit the idea until it dies off. Or maybe you know your ideas or skills are somewhat good, but you're scared of what people might say. You're scared they'll laugh at you or even throw shades and you can't take that kind of criticism. So you crawl back into your shell and leave potential riches on the table for people who are bolder than you. Know this, you will always fail when you want to achieve something. So get prepared for it and don't run away from failure. It's there to teach you. If you keep running away from failing, you're going to have a hard time building riches. Doors open to those who are bold enough to knock. If you don't learn how to kill your fears and self-doubts, you'll always find building wealth very difficult to achieve. Your fear may never really go away, and that's okay. That doesn't mean you have to let it control you. Courage means doing it despite the fear. Be courageous, and you'll be surprised what you can accomplish. It's one thing to identify your fears. It's another to overcome them. Next time you feel afraid of doing something big, take a deep breath and write your thoughts in a journal. Ask yourself, what am I really afraid of? Writing down your fears can make them feel less overwhelming. What's the worst that could happen? The worst case scenario may not be as bad as you think. In many cases, failure doesn't change much about your current situation. So what do you have to lose? What if I succeed? Think of how your life would change if you succeeded. Think of how fat your account will be if you just do it and succeed. Failure is scary. When you put effort into a project, tell countless people about it, and spend sleepless nights trying to succeed, the fear of failing can be crushing. But if you're constantly afraid of a negative outcome, why bother pursuing anything? Watch this two videos on how to overcome the fear of failure, linked in my description box. The key to stop doubting yourself and giving in to fear is to build your self-confidence and learn how to handle criticism. Doing this will enhance your self-trust and eliminate your fears. Don't let your fear stop you. It will be the most important thing you ever do. Remember to be kind to yourself if things don't go your way. Self-care is important when you don't meet your own expectations. Recharge. Whatever you need to relieve stress before getting back on the game board. Be afraid, but do it anyway. Go on ahead and click the like button, turn on the bell notifications to get updated when I post the next video soon, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.